Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here, so today I want to talk about the new and improved version of the Fat Rope Stick. In my opinion, it's the best fire starter that you can purchase, and I'm going to go over the reasons why, so let's check it out. Alright, so some of you may have seen the original review I did of the Fat Rope Stick back probably earlier in spring. Now that video was mostly received positively. But there was a few people who were comparing fat rope to jute twine with wax. And while there are some functional similarities, uh, fat rope is simply light years better than that. For one, whatever the accelerant is that the company uses to make it, it just ignites a lot faster. It's more water resistant. It's easier to tear apart the individual fibers. It's more versatile in the form factor that comes in it can be broken down into smaller strands and then microscopic strands very easily. So you can't really compare it to wax jute twine. It's simply not the same thing. And at $8 for a stick which contains 30 strands that each themselves contain hundreds of micro strands that you could probably get at least a hundred fires out of is a very good deal in my opinion and of course when you buy it bulk you save a bit of money as well I think it's three for twenty one dollars now there's a lot of different fire starters in the market and I have tried all of them there's so many different ways to light a fire nowadays now some of the more skilled bushcrafters out there which are really a small portion of the population as a whole are going to be able to make a fire and generate their own tinder from things that they find in nature maybe that's fat wood or birch bark or feather sticking old man's beard or what i call scrag there's a lot of ways that you can go and find natural tinders and there's also many ways you can make your own fire starter you can make fire discs you can make stuff out of sawdust cotton balls and vaseline which can get pretty messy or cotton rounds and vaseline there's a thousand and one ways to light a fire but in my honest opinion fat rope is the best it's the most versatile dense form of energy which takes a spark even when it's very wet now i'm going to go over some of the reasons why i think this is one of the best fire starters and then i'm going to talk about a couple cons which aren't really that big of a deal but uh, they are some things that could always be improved it's my belief that a product can always be improved even if only minutely. Now, like I said before, it's a very dense form of energy, probably not the densest, but considering it has so many other unique qualities that I'm gonna talk about and retains that density of energy, makes it a very practical addition to any survival or camping kit. And the flames that you get off cotton and Vaseline are most of these fire starters out there whether they're resin soaked wood or the fuel tabs, wet fire, live fire, all of these create a very small flame from an energy source of equal density. So for instance, how fat rope works is it comes in one giant stick. That section is broken down into three smaller sticks. Each of those three smaller sticks can be broken down into 10 other strands of fat rope. And then those strands themselves can be broken down into these hundreds of microfibers. These microfibers can be fluffed up to create a very large flame. And the benefit of having a large flame is going to create greater potential for you to heat up a larger area at once, thereby increasing the chances that you're going to successfully light the bundle of kindling that you have on fire. It's like trying to light a twig on fire with a lighter compared to lighting that twig on fire with 10 lighters. While the burn time is going to be reduced when you fluff it out, because it's not going to be as dense of an energy, it's going to be spread over a larger surface area. It's a more practical use of that heat energy because you instantly heat and ignite whatever kindling you're going to use on fire. Now, of course, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to break it down into its hundreds of different little micro strands. You can leave it as a larger chunk and it will still ignite in that sense. My only gripe with the fat rope is that in some of my tests, uh, it hasn't fully burned before extinguishing itself. And I think what happens is the wax that's in there can sometimes smother itself. So really the more you fluff it out, the greater the likelihood that it's going to completely 
burn itself. Now it's very quickly to reignite it. You simply put a flame to it, fluff it out a bit, and then it's going to go. Now usually about 80 to 90% is going to burn before it extinguishes itself. But it would be nice if the recipe was optimized so that it just burned all the way through right down to the last draw. Now of course as I've demonstrated in the past it's very water resistant. It'll take a spark from a ferro rod even after being splashed with water. So it's one thing to be ignited by a lighter. It's another to take ignition from a ferrocium rod after having water poured on it. Another great thing about this fat rope stick which a lot of other fire starters can't boast is because of its size it's about 70 grams but it has a decent form factor that's easy to pack and for something that's so useful you should be willing to commit 70 grams of your pack to fire starter in my opinion one of the best things about it is that really the stick itself can make an entire fire for example i did some tests in which i used a very cheap folding camp stove it wasn't a firebox so it wasn't as good as that I was able to bring two cups of water to a boil by only using five strands of the fat rope without using any twigs. Now obviously there's going to be a lot of twigs around pretty much wherever you go. But what I'm trying to say if you had absolutely no other means to cook your food and everything was wet, say it was raining, you're sitting under the tarp and you need to make a fire, the fat rope stick in itself can provide you with a significant fire in and of itself. You could probably get a couple liters of water boiled off of each stick if you used it very efficiently, if there was no wind, if uh, the flame was directly underneath the pot that you were trying to cook in. And in the case of an emergency in a hyperthermic situation, if you really needed to get warm fast, a fat rope would allow you to do that. However, my only gripe with a fat rope and you could also say this is a pro is that to take the initial wrapper off can be a little challenging so you're going to need a knife or you're going to have to use your teeth and then you're going to have to unwrap it if there was a way that it could be quickly unwrapped maybe by perforating the plastic uh, so you could easily undo it in case of emergency or something like that in those very very rare cases which honestly most people are never going to be faced with a situation like that but that's just one way that could perhaps improve the experience with fat rope is making the packaging easier to open. The packaging is not resealable. Mind you, it's waterproof, it's all weather resistant, so you don't really need to put it in anything anyways. But for people who like to go over and above in terms of protecting their gear, that might be an issue for you. One last benefit of this, and I probably should have mentioned this first, is that this is made by a survivalist, by a prepper who lives in Canada. Almost all of the products that I demonstrate on this channel, not only are they all high quality, things like power film, uh, mono walker, the bug out roll, and of course the fat rope stick among many others, they're all made in their countries of origin. So they're not outsourcing jobs overseas, they're small business people like myself who are trying to bring a fair product to you which we believe in and that we use at a very cost effective rate and in my opinion eight dollars for a very unique fire starter is a very good deal considering that i can go into a wholesale sports right now and buy a tinder stick which is basically just a piece of wood which is infused with resin for probably around the same price and it's nowhere near as good as fat rope is at lighting a variety of different types of fires because of the ability to break it down into thousands of strands the potential for lighting fires is really infinite from one stick of fat rope even in the worst conditions you can get such a large bird's nest of microfibers that even if all the kindling was wet there'd be enough of a power punch of BTUs there to ignite that sucker on fire and in the worst case scenario would at least provide you some temporary heat in an emergency situation. Another great thing about it is, and this is not really that significant for most people, but is that it comes in different colors. Uh, I think this is significant because if you do have a color coded system uh, like the Urban Preppers colors of prepping, I think fire for his kit is orange. 
don't quote me on that it's been a while since i've referenced that video but he has a particular color designated for fire so you can get this in orange black or yellow personally i think yellow is the most appropriate of course that's the primary color of fire so that would be the one that i would recommend people get but you know you might have other reasons for getting the other colors too there is another unique wrap that is going to be coming out and honestly i you know it's a bit more flashier uh it's a much better design obviously they put a lot more work into this to the design do i think it's necessary um not really i think that it was just fine with the colors that they had but that's one great thing about the company is they're always trying to improve the product but i just don't think that the new packaging necessarily brings a lot of functional value it certainly makes it look more professional like i said that's a testament to the company's desire to constantly improve the product now the other benefit of the fat rope stick is that it's essentially there's no expiration date it's going to you can put it in your bag if you don't use it for 10 years it's still theoretically going to work just as well down the road it's basically wax infused into a unique type of rope with a secret accelerant and fire starting agents that they have in there of course they got to protect their industry secrets it is non-toxic i wouldn't say it's odorless there's definitely that burning wax smell that you get and there is a little bit of black smoke but nothing that you can endure for the one minute that you're going to use to light a fire Right now, it's available exclusively in Canada through Rewild Outfitters. And of course, in Canada, our currency is worth a little less. So I think it's looking at about $10 per stick as opposed to $8 in the United States. But go and check out Rewild Outfitters if you want more information on the actual prices. In Canada, I believe you're going to be able to get it on Amazon pretty soon. I will post a link in the description for that. That's Amazon.ca. In the United States, it's being distributed by Fiddleback Outpost. I'll post a link to their website down below. You're definitely going to want to get some of this stuff, guys. This would also make a great stocking stuffer for anybody who likes the outdoors. Once you use it, it's just going to be your natural go-to way of lighting a fire. Unless, like I say, you're one of these people who've spent your entire life in the bush and that's all you do, and you can basically make a fire by rubbing two sticks together this is not really for you obviously but even for you maybe you need a break to do some other bushcraft stuff so go and check it out i'm also going to post a link to the maker of the product's youtube channel his name's frank he runs the survival instinct youtube channel he also has a substantial twitter following i believe it's something like twenty thousand people who are following him on twitter probably even more than that the last time i checked it was around twenty thousand. so uh he's also a professional photographer videographer makes excellent quality youtube videos probably one of the most underrated uh, prepping and survival channels on youtube so go and check it out thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and subscribe to the survival instinct as well canadian prepper out